Hi everybody, this is Melissa from bemiss.net and I am logged into my vCenter Server 7. As you can see, I have this nice blue banner at the top telling me that new vCenter Server updates are available. So let's take a look at those updates and see what vCenter is going to tell us. Now, this is vCenter Server Update Planner. It's a new feature in vCenter Server 7 and what it does is it's gonna help you keep everything in your environment in a good state, right? So we're gonna check interoperability of what we have in our environment, various components, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the update that's available. So let's click this and we could re-release notes here if we wanted, but I'm gonna click generate report and we're gonna do interoperability report and see what we get. Okay, so we can see we have a couple issues in our environment. We have VMware vRealize Log Insight 471 installed and we need to upgrade that to 8 to be compatible with our desired version of vCenter Server. And VMware Horizon 7 is currently at 7.6.0 and we need to upgrade to 7.12.0 to be compatible with our vCenter Server. So that's what this update planner is all about, right? Because the most important thing when you're doing a vCenter upgrade is making sure that everything's going to work. So one thing it's also telling us is before upgrading, check the compatibility of third-party products that are registered with vCenter Server. So if you're using any third-party products for like storage or anything like that, you're going to want to make sure that's compatible with your desired version of vCenter. And if you didn't see all of your products in this list, um, I actually don't have either of these in my environment. I just picked some things to make it more interesting. You click modify product list and you can select you know, from all the VMware products that would integrate into vSphere and add them and make sure that, you know, you're checking everything in your environment. So that's pretty much vCenter Server Update Planner in a nutshell. We now know that we need to upgrade these components first, right? So once we go and upgrade these components, then we can go update our vCenter Server to the latest version. So if we click this right here, we see that the latest version that we're looking at right now is 7001400. It's a critical update. No reboot required or anything like that. So we are going to want to upgrade that vCenter server as soon as possible. Another feature I want to point out is current interoperability, right? So let's say you don't want to upgrade quite yet, but you want to make sure everything in your environment's in a good state. You can actually monitor your current interoperability. And again, I think we're going to see some errors here. Yep, we have a couple of things that are not interoperable. And again, I went and specifically picked versions of products that I knew would flag be flagged as not uh, compatible with this version of vCenter, it tells you, right, compatible versions here. We can see if there's others as well. So we can go 8.0.0.8.1.0.8.1.1. And for Horizon 7, it looks like this is the only compatible version. And we can actually get release notes right here too. So let's click that and see what we have. So again, we have our release notes for whatever product we're going to need to upgrade. And this will help us, you know, upgrade those vSphere products before we upgrade our vCenter server appliance.